hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing how to contour and highlight and how to get that chiseled look with a nice bright under eye and you know the bright highlight so the products that you're gonna need is a cream high a cream contour kit I say a kit because um, you know it comes with like multiples you have highlights in here you have your contours in here so I do recommend getting a contour kit if not they have contouring and highlighting sticks I know L'Oreal and Revlon have one so um, those are some good options I personally haven't tried them I have tried like foundation sticks those are also a good option um, as your cream so right now my entire face I've already done my eyebrows and my foundation so my next step typically is to do my cream contouring and highlighting so a contour kit is a good investment you will also need a few different types of brushes I like to use a dome foot brush to add my cream contour to place the product um, this is the real technique deluxe crease brush and it's just like a dome foot brush So that's really good with placing the product. Then to blend that out, I like to use some sort of duo fiber brush. Um, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush. It doesn't say what type it is, so I assume that it must have come in like a set or something. But it's just a small tapered, it's just a small tapered duo fiber brush. These are really good for blending out cream contours. Now for your cream highlight, I like to use whatever um, concealer brush I'm using. Uh, so something flat something flat and dense kind of like this and that's what you would use to place your cream products on then um, to set it a nice setting brush um, elf has a good their blush brush it's really tapered and it's really good for setting your under eye and this is the Sonia Kashuk setting brush so this is a good one as well um, I like to bake and if you like to bake then having something like this like a little fluffy dome brush I got this from crown it doesn't have a name but anything this type of you know structure it's good for dusting off for my blush I have a favorite blush brush like there are other brushes you can use but if you go to crownbrush.com um, they have these chiseled uh, blush brushes I got them a couple years ago this is the IB 126 chiseled blush brush <laughs> and this is really good to apply blush I have some more brushes coming in so if I change up my routine I will let you know but for now those are the products that we're gonna go with you also want to make sure you have some sort of beauty sponge to blend out your concealer and to kind of set everything together so we're gonna go ahead and get started so as I've stated before the contour kit is a great palette to have it's a great tool because it has all these different shades to start off I'm going to use the color chocolate and this is going to be my cream contour I'm placing this over my foundation which is already done and as you see when I tilt my head there's a little bit of a shadow and that's where you're going to place that contour so using whatever I have left on the brush I'm going to place it in my temples and if you have more of an oval shaped face it's good to place some product over the forehead this just helps bring everything in and then using additional product especially if you have like a double chin I place it on my chin area now on my nose I like to use a lighter contour so I'm using this eco tools brush and I'm placing it all over my nose um, contouring my nose and I'm using the color cinnamon now using my Sonia Kashuk dual fiber brush, this one is a little dirty and I apologize, I'm just using small circular back and forth motions to blend out the contour. Now I'm not using a lot of pressure, as you can see I'm only using two fingers to hold the brush and I'm using my third finger to kind of guide it to where I want it to go. But you want to use a light hand because you don't want to rub the product away, you don't want to have the brush absorb too much product and you kind of want it to be distributed evenly. So for my forehead and my temples I, I like to use small circular motions. This just helps give you the gradient effect that you want. Now if you do this step you don't necessarily have to do bronzer afterwards. This kind of does all of that for you. 
but um, for the sake of this video I'm going to do both but as you can see it just kind of blends everything out seamlessly now using this eyeshadow brush by Real Techniques this is a eyeshadow placement brush and I'm just going to use the same technique by using small circular motions kind of blending it out towards my nose I'm going to blend that out as well all you're doing is getting rid of the harsh line you're not wiping it away you still want it to show but you do want it to be more seamless next to clean up my contour and to um, conceal under my eyes I'm using the color nude which is a cream I believe it's a cream highlight but it's it's not light enough for me so I typically use this to clean up around my nose and to conceal under my eyes you know what this might actually work well to clean up under your brows I'm gonna have to try that but as you can see it just cleans it up a little bit helps the nose look a little more pronounced and helps clean up those edges so if you were to let's say use too much contour it'll help clean that up Now I don't always do this step because you can also do this step with a powder. I'm using a little bit of the leftover concealer and I'm going to put that underneath my contour just to blend it out. Now before I blend it completely, I'm going to go in with my highlight concealer and this is NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. So I'm putting this underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. I also put it on my forehead to help brighten it up. Now when you brighten underneath your eyes, you want to make sure that you also distribute the product to other places in your face so that it evens everything out and it doesn't just look like you have two bright under eyes and nothing else. You want everything to flow together. So once I've done that, I'm going to be using my beauty sponge to blend all of my concealed areas out. And I'm just going to speed this up because this can be quite tedious, but you do want to make sure that you blend all that out. Now when I'm not doing this on camera, it is a lot faster, but yeah, this is pretty much what I do all the time. I like to give myself enough time and if you're a makeup lover, you wouldn't mind. And since it was so bright on my forehead, I'm just going back in with one of my brushes that I know has extra product on it and blending out the edges. So you see it blends together a little better. Much better. I guess. Now you want to set your face with any translucent powder that you have. I have a Maybelline one and um, that was an Airspun which is a drugstore and the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Today I believed I used the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my entire face. I don't necessarily use it to set under my eyes, a lot of people do, but it tends to dry out my under eyes and since I am a bit oily it does work better on my face. I'm more of a combination skin type, but I get really oily in the center of my face and sometimes around the perimeter. And so I like to use the Laura Mercier because it tends to keep my foundation in place. Now moving on to brightening under the eyes, I personally like to use another loose powder that was the Sasha Buttercup powder, so I'm going to keep that to the side, but I'm going to set my concealer first using the Peaches and Cream by um, Anastasia Beverly Hill. This is the regular contour kit. I got my own refillables, and I tend to really like the shade Peaches and Cream. 
because of my skin tone, sometimes having more of a peachy um, setting powder for under my eyes helps to conceal any dark circles that I may have, um, mostly because I am of a deeper skin tone. I'm not deep, deep, but I, I have a deeper skin tone. So now to highlight, and also I use this to catch any fallout that I may have when using my eyeshadows, I'm going in with the Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm just going to bake. Now what I like to do first is place it under my eyes. I place most of the powder closer to my nose and I like to place some on my nose, on the top of my forehead, and on my chin. And then you'll also see that I also use it to help chisel out that contour yet again, which you don't have to do both and I d typically don't but I wanted to show you what it looked like. So once I place that powder there on the rest of my face, I don't let it sit for very long because it can start looking white. So I just take a regular powder brush and dust it away off of my chin, off of the contour area, off of the bridge of my nose, and off of my forehead. I leave it under my eyes until I'm finished with my eyeshadow. And then I go ahead, do my eyeshadow, and move on to the next step. Okay, so now that I'm went ahead and I've done my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to powder contouring and how I get like my bright highlight. Now, as you can see, I can just add blush and be done and pretty much be good for, you know, however. But um, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and I've actually been pretty obsessed with this lately. So this is the Tarte Tardis Pro Glow To Go. Um, little palette. You can get this at Ulta. It's relatively cheap. I think it's about $23. Um, but um, yes, I like the contour powder and I haven't tried Gleam, so I'm thinking I might try that today. So anyway, I'm going to go in with this Essence of Beauty. Um, it's like a double-ended brush, but I typically just use the um, angled part. So I'm going in with the color Chisel, and I'm just going to lightly put that over where I have my original Contour. Okay. Yeah. 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 Base eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna put it down um, the center of my nose. And as you see, when I'm doing this, I'm holding the end of the brush. That way, I'm not applying too much pressure when it comes to putting it on my nose because I don't want it to be too, you know, thick or anything. Now you can move on to your blush. You can use whatever blush you want to use. Um, today, just because of it's in front of me, I'm going to go with MAC Gingerly, which is a really good everyday nude, nudish pink type blush. And I think it'll go great with this eye look as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit there. I'm going to start at the apples, pat all the way through and bring it up to the top of my cheekbones. And I just kind of like lightly dust it. Now, as you can see, I'm adding the most products to where my cheeks are. You make a half smile and just tap the top and then brush it up. Again, I'm using the bottom of the brush. Now, if you want to add more, that's up to you. Now, the way I get it to shine and be extremely glowy is sometimes I use a cream um, highlight. Uh, this is a sample size, but this is What's Up by Benefit. It comes a lot bigger than this, but even the sample, I've had this for about two years now. So, and I was using this every day at one point. So you just take a little bit. I'm going to do that on one side, and then I'll show you the way I do it on the other, another way I do it on the other side. So you take a little bit on your finger, and you just pat it in the areas where you're going to add your highlight. And as you can see, it's already added, you know, a little glow. I tend to add this to my nose as well. Just the center, just to kind of give it like a button nose effect. 
and I'll do the top of my lip. So I'll just add a little bit right there. My hair's moving because Dylan's here. So the other way that I add highlight, and that's kind of why I'm like throwing my hair back, um, I'm going to spray my face. I'm going to spray my face with Fix Plus, and then I'm going to add the color on after. So I think today I'm going to use the Gleam. I'm going to give it a shot, and I'm going to spray one side of my face with Fix Plus, and then I'm just going to add my highlight like I normally would. This also helps set your powders. So now my face is still wet. I'm gonna take the color Gleam. Fan brush, it doesn't have to be a fan brush, but I'm just gonna add it to the top of my cheekbones. And as you can see, I focus most of the color right here and then sweep it up and forward. Up and forward, up and forward. And you wanna kinda of keep it in between this area here so when I face forward, you don't really see it. But when I turn to the side, that's when you see that glow. That's it for bronzing and contouring. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Check down in the description bar below. I have some codes for you so you can get some money off of some products. To keep up with me, make sure you follow me on my social media, which is Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll have that all listed down below as well. And until next time, beauties. Mwah. Peace.